I think Mark's done a great job as well. We should salute him. Obviously, he's a he's a big loss to to GB News. Yeah, and many of us were absolutely disgusted at uh, replacing the great Mark Stein. And and we'll make no bones about it. We're massive fans, not just of yours, but of Mark and your colleagues. Um, what did you think about that? I don't want to get you into any trouble. Oh no, no, it's no but trouble. When GB News got rid of Mark. I mean, what what were you thinking? I think it was a big mistake, um, and I'm glad he's suing off Com. I think they treated him absolutely despicably. You know, the people at the top, you know, he calls one of them off uh, Com's bitch. I don't know that I've ever met him or her. Um, but, you know, they, they didn't stand by him um, after the complaints, and I think they should know that a lot of the complaints that went into Ofcom were orchestrated. I mean, I found people that were saying, and, and I see them doing it with Lawrence Fox and Neil Oliver, they've done the same thing where they'll say, you know, they'll put on Twitter, you know, here's the link to Ofcom, complain about it. This is the show title. This is the date. This is the time. Uh, this is what you should say. And then those go to Ofcom. And, you know, GB News didn't stand up for him. And I think that was very, you know, very, very wrong, um, you know, and I think it's affected his health as well, because obviously it's yeah. put him under a lot of stress. Not only had he had his heart attacks, but, yeah. you know, just that kind of that kind of treatment. Um, and, you know, I, I'm very loyal to Mark and I went um, just like, you know, <laughs> whatever. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'll, I'll, I'll stand by you, Mark, you know, um, because he's he's really done the right thing and he's really spoken out. Um, and he won't be censored. He yeah. he he doesn't care. It's like right, fine. You know, if if that's what you want to do, do it. But I, you know, need to say what mm. I think. 